Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last part, we closed the absorption gate. We, I mean, not the... Dang, I keep mistaking the absorption gate for the radiation gate, and we killed Moe's. In this part, we're doing side quests. Woo! Anyway. Anis, Anis, please help me. W w what is it? What's wrong, Florian? We need someone to play the role of the mischievous demon. Otherwise, we can't do anything at all. This... The mischievous demon? If they're looking for a demon, we've got one with us. Did you say something? No, nothing. I love that. <laughs> Florian! Oh my, Annis, you've come at the perfect time. What is it, Mama? Well, we're putting on a play for orphan children, but the person who was going to play the greedy, greedy, mischievous demon got sick. My, that sounds like the perfect role for Annis. Colonel, don't you think that's really rude? Annis, I'm playing the role of the first phone master. I make the mischievous demon into a good person. Come on, let's do it together. Ugh, I can't say no to that smile. What smile? Alright, yeah, oh, alright, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna do it. Yes, we're gonna do this play. And its costume is actually pretty cool looking. Kind of makes me think of the... Oh, well, what does it make me think of? Ah, I'm the mischievous demon. I'm taking all your favorite candy. Wouldn't you say money? It's not right to do things like that, okay? The candies are all mine, I don't care. It makes me think of, um... Was it Carol that got a demon outfit in um, in Tales of Vesperia? Or was it Rita? I mean, I would totally understand it if Rita was a demon, but yeah. Oh, uh, Mew, I'm a Cheagle. That's how the mischievous demon became a Cheagle and became the Seek. Okay, we don't care. Worthless backstory nobody wants to know. And if you really want to know, you can just read it and watch the text in your own game. Okay, for some reason it doesn't make me happy. Mew got all the applause in the end. Oh, what the? <laughs> did, did you see that? Mew said, aw shucks. What the? I could never see Mew saying that. But anyway, Annis gets the little devil title. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. You know, I put it on her. Whatever. I'm gonna make her wear it. Yeah, little devil. Little devil with stripes too. Very valuable. Those who know this know it well. Okay. Let's get Natalia out of the air and put in Annis. And actually, here, let's get rid of Guy and put Natalia back in there, because she's got low HP compared to the others. Okay. Now, we just got a couple other things to do. We need to head up into I uh, Florian's room. Watch me confuse that name about a bajillion times whenever I say it. Okay, go ahead and head up. Oh, finally, we don't get to see this stupid chest mocking us as we go up. Ha <laughs> ha! I actually got you, even though you're freaking worthless to me. That chest is dead to me! Okay. So, need to come up here, go in Ion's, I mean, Florian's room. Oh, well, you know what? It is Ion's room! Ha! I was saying the right thing. They haven't renamed it, so it is Ion's room, suckers. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um... This is all available after you clear the radiation gate. So, yeah, that's when you need to start doing this. All right, Annis, welcome back. Hi, how have you been? Okay. Mm, you sound kind of down. Everyone besides you all looks at me strangely. It makes me scared. I see. Annis, don't you think you should stay with Florian for a while? No, I can't. We have things to do. For Florian's sake, too. Well, yeah, but... Annis, are you leaving again? Yeah, I still have work to do, but how about we eat dinner together today, then sleep together? What? Sleep together? Luke, you're thinking something weird, aren't you? I meant all of us together. Okay, Tales of the Orgy. Anyway, <laughs> to get, today we'll all be together. Anyway, I'll make dinner and make something I've never made before. What do you want to eat, Florian? I want to eat stew. Okay, and it looks good. And we get the stew recipe. We get the stew red. Come on. We learned the stew recipe. There we go. Okay, now we got one recipe left to get. Woo! Awesome, and I know where to get it, too. We're almost done. Oh, man, we can finally knock these. Now I can finally knock all the recipes off the list. Now, in our 100% playthrough, we've got all the recipes almost. Oh, that makes me feel accomplished. And nerdy as frick. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> I love that whole sleep together thing. Even. Even the characters thought that sounded, uh, weird. Anyway, now I will see you guys in Batical, actually. So, see you guys in Batical. Okay, here we are in Batical. 
And what you need to do is come into uh, the manor. And once you're in the manor, all you need to do is talk to Ramdas or Ramdas, whatever the frick his name is. Hey, Ramdas, give us something to do. Okay, oh dear, what to do? What's wrong? Oh, hello, young master. One of his great... Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that voice. One of his greatest friends will be arriving for a visit shortly, but our chef is sick, and it doesn't appear he will be able to prepare the meal. Oh. I was hoping to hear more than oh. Is there any chance you could do something, young master? Okay, that's kind of funny. Something. Huh. Uh, who will be the chef? Okay, I'm gonna do the funniest one. Okay? Luke can't cook. Tyr can kinda cook. Jade can cook, and Guy and Annis can cook. The one who really can't cook, if you remember, is Natalia. Natalia will cook. Whoa, Luke, are you serious? Surely you jest. Luke, what are you trying to do? Is this some sort of plot? Very well. After having all that said, to refuse now would bring shame upon, shame to the ran, landful dear name. Jeez. Ram, Ramdas, lead me to the kitchen. But just watch. Oh, boy. This is awesome. I love this. This is priceless. <laughs> this is amazing. Welcome to my humble home, dear Bernal. I'm afraid our kitchen will have little to offer a man uh, touted as the era's finest culinary, culinary genius. I hope you'll forgive me. All the better. Oh, no, don't concern yourself with that. No matter who makes the food, it's always a pleasure to indulge in such warm hospitality. Come, let us eat. What happened? Bernal? Bernal! Snake? Snake? Snake! Okay. What a complete failure. I've served this house as a butler for more than 40 years now, but this is the first time I've ever seen anyone lose consciousness upon tasting a meal. I'm sorry. Berno left a recipe with us. And you learned the miso stew recipe. He says he'd like you to work on your cooking skills as much as possible. I will. I freaking love that. She knocked him out with her food. Oh, that's... Oh, that's awesome. Natalia rocks. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, now that that's done, I will see you guys in Ketterberg. The Ketterberg Hotel, to be exact. So see you guys there. Okay, here we are. Now, once you get here to the hotel, go ahead and head to the second floor. And I've not shown this at all yet, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I have. Oh, hey, is this the same guy? Hey, it is Bernal. Ah, Luke von Fabra. Hi, Bernal. Well, well, it seems you've mastered your own style of cooking. Yeah, I managed it somehow. You are worthy of the title, cook. Gee, thanks. How flattering. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm not very good. Embarrassed, you think so? Okay, I don't care. What you gotta do is, as you can see, cooking, you see all those stars? If you get three stars with every recipe, with every character, well, not every character, but if you get three stars with every recipe, with any given character, you can get a cooking title. All right. Met, I'm Tyr. Okay, you're full fledged grand chef. Okay, that's Tears. Um, wow, she is still wearing this costume, isn't it? I mean, isn't she? She, she needs a new costume. Um, let me see here. What was I saying? If you master all the recipes, now when the way you master them is because. I mean, is how. Wait, dang it! The way you master recipes is that you have to cook each recipe 30 times. Oh! And you can only cook them once after every fight, so that can be very, very um, long and tedious. It actually took me a full 30 hours to do it. I'm not even kidding. Bernal, hmm, I believe we met Duke Fodder's Manor, did we not? I'm Annis, and guess what? I've mastered cooking! Oh, in such a young age, your future is promising indeed! You are truly worthy of the name Little Big Chef. Not at all a plug for Little Big Planet, but whatever, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, oh, st shut up. I don't care. And ere all your characters get them, uh, hmm, perhaps so, perhaps not. I can see you're a skilled cook. Have you ever re been referred to as an experimental chef? I'm afraid not. You look like a full... Okay, yeah, yeah. Experimental chef, and then we got one more for Guy. I'm not really very interested. Okay. Yeah, just be cynical and lame, Jade. You can't have fun. All right, I believe... Ah, uh, you're the guest from that time. Mm, yes, blah, blah, blah. got a cool chef. Okay. Okay, so that is all the cooking- Oh, shut up. I don't care, Mr. Fatman. Go Ugh, shut up, Fatman. 
Okay. Now we are done. Now we can move on with what little story we have to move on to. Okay. First off, though, I'm going back to Sheridan. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I'll cut there if anything has changed. I'm going to check on the bridge. So, if... If it's finished, then I'll cut to that, and if it's not finished, then I will cut to Grand Kokma. So, I will see you wherever I cut to. Okay, here we are in Grand Chizakma. And, uh, just a little update on the bridge building. Um, Aston actually said something different this time. He said, oh, it's gonna, uh, it's, it won't be long now. Come back just a little bit later. So, I'm guessing once the final dungeon becomes available, and maybe after we've entered it once, um... It'll probably be available to us. Like, it'll be built. So, yeah. Anyway, um... Once you beat the Radiation Gate, go ahead and come back to the military headquarters. We've been waiting. With the planet storm gone, Eldrant has lost its armor. The Kimwaskan and Malkuth Allied Forces began preparations for deployment the moment the planet storm stopped. All to support you. Thank you. But Eldrin still has strong anti-aircraft cannons. If we can't get past those... Hmm. Eldrin's anti-air fire takes approximately 15 seconds to reload between barrages. We could use that time to predict the next attack and get close. My brother could do it, but... Shall we find Ash and have Genji take your place? No. Please allow me to do it. I'm the pilot of the Albior II. I've had the same training as my brother. It's all right. I'll do it. We're counting on you. Sounds like that settles it then. So, this is it. Are you all really okay with going to Eldrin? Natalia, you're the successor to the throne of Kimlaska. Jade, you have your military post defending Malkuth. And then... What are you saying after everything that's happened? I can't leave after coming this far. I have to make my brother, make Van take responsibility. If Ion were here, he'd tell me to see everything through to the end. When I met my sister's replica, I realized. As a citizen of Hod myself, I can't allow the dead to be raised in such a manner. I'm under orders from His Majesty. And besides, you need a captain when deploying soldiers. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Chief of Staff Sesame, can we request support fire during the assault? We'll neutralize the anti-aircraft fire from inside Eldrin and head directly to Van. Very well. But eliminating Van takes priority. Even with the anti-aircraft fire neutralized, we have no means of flying. Understood. All right. All that's left is to find Ash and complete the key of Lorelei. The Allied Force will await your arrival in Kessidonia. We're all counting on you. All right. So, um, I think now that we're at this point, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And, um, in the next part, we are going to go to Kessidonia to prepare for our assault on Eldrint itself. Oh, also, why do they care about the anti-aircraft? I mean, the Malkuthians and the Kamwaskans. Why do they care about the anti-aircraft fire if we can't, if they can't fly? Anyway, see you guys next time.